What's up guys, eMagic3 Cards here, and I am coming to you with a very special video today. Just got these in the mail from 2004 themselves, original first edition Rise of Destiny packs. Uh, super excited about these, obviously a huge throwback to back in the day, oh man, RDS, and then as you can see, first edition. So super excited, only got five packs, but you know, I figure it's going to make for a great video. Um, I bought these from a guy that I've been buying some stuff from here recently. He does a lot of older Yu-Gi-Oh sets. Uh, some first edition, some not first edition, um, some unlimited. So it's pretty, pretty exciting. And so obviously, I hope these aren't Wade packs, but even if they are, um, Ultimate Rares are in the set, so there's still a really good chance if they are Wade that they can there can be an Ultimate Rare in here. So... That's happened before, as you've seen in my Soul of Duelist video. Um, so we'll just see what we get and get into it. I got my card sleeves here, hoping to get something great. Yep, smells smells like 2004 to me. Uh, very old cards here, and I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So even opening the packs is kind of kind of tough and kind of sticky. So let's see what we get. So as you can see here, Harpy Lady 2 with the beautiful first edition stamp there. Uh, let's see what we get. Tactical Espionage Expert, Element Magician, Harpy's Hunting Ground, A-Team Trap Disposal Unit, The Creator Incarnate, Woodborg and Patchy, Bokichi the fright Frightening Car, and Heavy Mech Support Platform. So man, these are just nostalgic cards here. Uh, so just a rare in the first one. Moving on to the second. So I'm really interested to see if we can get an ultimate rare here. Um, that would just be awesome. I mean, there's so many cool ones in the set. Um, obviously, the creator is the one that we're after. The picture on the pack. Back to square one. Lighten the Lord, the load. Harpy Lady 2 again. Creeping Doom Manta. Full Siller, Dragon, the Dual Mode Beast, classics here, Invasion of Flames, Malice, Dispersion, Foxfire, and Eagle Eyes. Man, these are some nostalgic cards here. Even the rares just look so good. I don't know what it is. It's just, just something about those rares from back in the day. They just look different. I don't know. Maybe I'm just biased. Keep it going. Pack three. Just an ultimate. One ultimate would be awesome. Nightmare Penguin. Back to square one again. Creeping Doom Manta. Harpy Lady 2. Serial Spell. I actually think I have one of my original ones. Element Saurus. Moki Moki Smackdown. Harpy Lady 3. And Moki Moki King. So some cool ones here. Alright, come on. Two more packs. Please. Give me something. Give me something. Element Magician again. Back to square one again. Xing Zin Hu, Harpy's Hunting Ground. Divine Wrath, okay, here we go. Super, super rare first edition Divine Wrath, and that is a beautiful card. Um, obviously, a huge throwback. Discard one card from your hand, negate the activation and the effect of an effect monster and destroy that monster. Super cool here. Uh, so it makes me think that maybe these packs aren't weighed because, you know, super rare. Maybe, maybe, wow. Definitely sleeping that bad boy up. First edition Divine Wrath, that just looks so good. And then on to our last. Can we top it off with an Ultra or an Ultimate? I know it's probably a lot to ask for for only five packs. You know, small sample size, but I'm feeling lucky. Creeping Doom Manta, back to square one. Mirage Dragon, Raging Flame Sprite. Ah, Chain Burst, ending on a rare. Oh, but wow, I cannot complain about this. I mean, that's so cool, opening first edition packs from the early 2000s. Definitely the highlight here, uh, first edition Divine Wrath. So very, very cool, super exciting. Even though it's only five packs, just, I mean, I don't know. Just look at that. That is just amazing. Amazing, amazing. Simple, 
Got Yugi on the front. Looks so good. Creator in the background. But yeah, guys, super special video today. Just a huge throwback. As you all know, I am a huge OG Yu-Gi-Oh fan. Uh, and stuff like this is just super exciting. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely going to be looking into doing this more often. Obviously, it's a bit pricey getting some of these. But um, definitely worth it whenever I see the opportunity. So I'll definitely keep my eye out for more OG packs like this. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Again, if you did enjoy it, feel free to like and subscribe. It's very much appreciated. Uh, I enjoy the support that you guys give me. And uh, you can find me on Instagram at emagic3cards. So I hope you guys are having a great day so far. See you guys.